What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the King Sense channel. Now this is the place where we appreciate and also celebrate the art of fragrances. We have three goals on this channel, which are be your best, look your best, and of course, smell your best. Now my job is to help you to do that. Now if that's something that has your attention, you can show your support by hitting that like button, leaving a comment, and or subscribe to the channel. Come and be a part of the family. We would love to have you. I hope everybody had a blessed week, a blessed weekend, and I wish you many more. Now, let's get on to the feature presentation. So, I know I have some people out there who have been waiting on this review, um, and I'm gonna give it to you right now. Coming from the rather successful uh, independent slash niche house of Parfums Vintage, guys, I'd like to introduce you to Unisex Intense. All right, this is unisex intense. I mean, look at the box. The quality speaks for itself uh, just by observing the presentation. Just by observing the presentation, one can guess the quality of this house and what it is that they're actually producing over here at the House of Parfums Vintage. Now, um, real quick, guys, here's the bottle. Okay, this is the bottle. This is the juice. All right, this is unisex intense. So you get this real heavy um, ornament style bottle. Uh, the cap is not plastic. Actually can be used as a weapon. So be careful. All right, um, especially if you, you know, happen to drop it on your foot or anything like that or anywhere else. This is going to damage something. Okay, um, and you see unisex intense is on the bottom there. Hopefully the camera has uh, made that visible for you all. But guys, there's nothing left to do, man. Let's get into uh, this fragrance. Let's talk about um, some different uh, elements and facets of this fragrance. But before we do that, I wanna go ahead and give you some support. Uh, they don't really have the full uh, detailed note breakdown for this fragrance, but I'm gonna give you what they got. Um, so it says formulated with 118 ingredients, including natural woods and citruses, vanilla, chocolate, ambergris, florals, and no less than 14 different musks. Ensure that this opulent uh, unisex composition exalts with excellent longevity. Of the many varieties of sandalwood, Indian sandalwood was selected as it is the most prized. It holds the highest concentration of alpha santalo and beta santalo that are responsible for sandalwood's luxurious, creamy, woody, floral scent. All right, so this is a fragrance that goes into its own direction. Um, so it's a little bit different uh, than the rest of its predecessors. Another point that I want to uh, bring to your attention is that this was an anniversary release uh, to appeal more to the unisexual market. Um, so they wanted to target uh, both men and women. So now that we have went into some background uh, as well as some detailed information, let's go ahead and get into this juice and let's talk about unisex intent. So real quick, I wanna give you guys another look at the bottle. All right, and then I'm going to waste a spray or two for you, let you get a look at the atomizer. All right, so man man so there it is all right the perfect when i say the perfect amount of juice distribution comes out of these newer atomizers um i still enjoy the the old style uh parfum vintage uh atomizers because i was able to control my spray so if i wanted a lot or a little i had better control this one pretty much you're going to get the same amount of juice distribution every single time that you hold that trigger down. So, let's talk about unisex intense. So, on the initial spray, one thing that I wanna bring uh, to your attention, right, is that the pineapple, that pineapple that we are used to, that beautiful, gorgeous, uh, ripe, 
uh, sweet, sugary, syrupy pineapple that we are used to is, is dialed back. I'm not going to say that it's not in here because it is, but guys, they have dialed it way back. So that's not the first thing that you're really going to uh, notice, right? You'll notice it because it's not what it used to be. So again, I noticed that the pineapple is dialed way extremely down um, in this fragrance, but it is still slightly detectable. Now it doesn't list what particular citrus accords are in here, but from my nose, what I feel I may be detecting is a bergamot orange mixture. And then maybe also um, added in there is some type of sweet lemon. So again, the citruses are not listed, but that's what I kind of, that's what my nose is kind of picking up. What I notice next people is this smooth, creamy, um, chocolatey texture. So in fact, what I want to say is to my nose, it may even be like a white chocolate uh, because it, my nose is not detecting a deep, um, dark, you know, cacao chocolatey. It's it, to me, it's more of a, a, a sugary um, vanilla, vanilla like uh, just powdery chocolate. So again, that's the reason why. I feel it may be a white chocolate and not a uh, dark chocolate per se. Now you definitely still do uh, have the fruits in here. So that apple is definitely present. Um, that apple to me is more of a red apple. All right, it's not a, it's not a overly sweet green Granny Smith apple. It's definitely more of a mature apple, if that makes sense. So what I think does help this fragrance to be more of a unisex, if you will, uh, DNA, is I noticed that the florals are, so wherever they took the pineapple down and dropped it into the, to the mid, the heart of this fragrance, I believe they pushed, they amped up the florals and added some other florals in here as well, but they brought the florals to the forefront. So the florals are very much pronounced in this fragrance. So in particular, uh, when I'm talking about the florals, I'm talking about the jasmine and that rose. Uh, they are very much detectable, more so than any other uh, iteration of the Pineapple Vintage lineup. The vanilla is in here, um, and I feel like the vanilla is what helps also to, to give this, uh, this uh, unisex intense, this powdery identity. Um, so it just helps to support um, the chocolate and the sandalwood and some other things, which I want to get to right now. Uh, I feel like that sandalwood uh, and musk combination, uh, they both bring this warm, uh, added creamy woodiness to this DNA. Um, so I definitely feel like it's safe to say that this doesn't have any birch uh, because I feel like they replaced the birch with the, the many different, uh, I believe it said 14 different types of sandalwood or musk. Um, so I'm not picking up birch uh, anymore, right? Um, birch is in all of the other uh, pineapple vintage or all the other Creed of Vintage inspired fragrances. Um, but birch to me is not in this fragrance. It, again, it has been replaced with the creamy sandalwood. The, I, I believe it was Indonesian sandalwood so that's what you're going to get in here um extremely creamy instead of extremely smoky or just smoky um so again guys that's what's rounding this and pushing it into that unisex market all right or that unisex uh, uh ram of things if you will so when it comes to unisex intense eau de parfum overall what i feel you get is warm slightly fresh Creamy, woody, sensual, refined, and seductive. All right, so if I had to rate unisex intense, in my personal humble opinion, I'm going to give this fragrance a 9 out of 10. I'm going to give this unisex intense a solid 9 out of 10. A job well done. 
by the House of Parfums Vintage. Now, would it be redundant for me to purchase this fragrance? Uh, might you ask, okay? And I'm glad you did. I'm gonna say no. The reason why I don't feel it's redundant to, to purchase this fragrance is because this fragrance more or less has its own identity, all right? Yes, we know it's inspired by its brothers and sisters, or in this case, its other brothers uh, in this lineup, um, but it still has its own identity. Mr. King says, do you think that they achieved this fragrance or DNA being a unisex DNA? And can women wear it? So I'm gonna honestly answer this, this question, right? And I want to throw out there that I'm not sponsored by the house. I purchased this with my own hard earned money. All right. So I'm going to say, yes, they definitely did achieve a unisex uh, pineapple vintage fragrance. I definitely can see the ladies wearing this fragrance and smelling good out there. So allow me to put this in perspective for you. If you have one being masculine, and 10 being feminine this is more like a six or six and a half leaning more towards the feminine side of things all right so uh hopefully you understand where this fragrance is when we're talking about unisex now creed aventus does have i believe aventus for women uh for the ladies i think it would be dope to see the house of parfums vintage um recreate that dna or create something else for them so you know like how the fellas how we have the emperor line the ladies line could be called empress and where they can you know go in and, and and play with the the uh the dna like they done with um with the emperor line so i think that would be dope to see them attack that something else i would love to see them do is um if they are going to continue to um you know attack the, the Pineapple Ventus lineup or the Emperor lineup, I would love to see like a like a summer, a more summery, uh, you know, tropical version of Emperor. So I'm talking about like Emperor with 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 mango, uh, watermelon, maybe maybe just a little peach in there, um, just something, and maybe even some coconut in there. Um, I think that would be dope. Uh, to see them do something like that, especially like I said for the warmer months uh, and seasons And I also would love to see the house uh, Go after some of the mind games fragrances Because um, you know they do some clones as well um, So I would love to see them uh, You know do some mind games clones uh, That's one of the niche houses that are really uh, making some noises out there right now in Fragcom So all right, so let's talk about the performance factor of unisex intense mr king says man how does this perform i'm glad you asked this here is going to perform very nicely extremely nicely it's going to jump up off your skin it's going to surround you with a nice aromatic bubble and it's going to really invite people in for the first four to six hours um, before settling down and sitting closer to the skin easily 10 plus hours if Guys, if you don't like fragrances that have uh, floral nuances to them, right? I suggest that you refrain from buying this fragrance because even while I'm here making this review, the florals are, they're, they're all in the air. That rose, the jasmine, the patchouli. Um, sample first, you know, I always talk about test driving before you buy the car and that's something that I stand on, okay? Test drive first. That way you can get your own understanding because I cannot refund you your money if you don't like the fragrance. Uh, if you have this fragrance, if you have unisex intense, let us know. Do you, is this something that you love or is this something that you regret purchasing? Uh, also, if you have anything else that's new from the house, let's discuss it down below. Let us know your thoughts and opinions as well. Just keep it respectful. And uh, hopefully somebody out there um, some type of representative from the house uh, has watched this video and they're able to uh, just take those notes and different things that I was able to throw out there. Some different ideas that I, I believe will be great um, that will also and of course also will be 
uh, beneficial to the company as well. So until the next time, be blessed, be safe, and Mr. King Sense is out.